Andrea, on a personal level, you've mentioned that you've changed a couple of jobs, as it happens with, with every career. Uh, what, what were the greatest lessons on a personal level that you've learned and that you took away from each employment? Mm. I, I started off my career in aviation, so I was a uh, cabin crew with, yeah. with, with Air Malta. Um, and even that, that role as well was my first full-time job in yes. reality. Um, I enjoyed it a lot. It was a good three years. I did my master's at the same time, so I managed to balance everything. Back then, I also used to do, um, uh, I used to train wrestling, like when the competitions abroad. So it was a nice balancing yes. act of, of work, life, sports, and everything. Um, uh, but then when I got my master, I really wanted to say, like, listen, now I need to really get that experience mm-hmm. in, in our field, um, in the field of HR. And back then, it wasn't, um, uh, the job market was different. You wouldn't find a job. Uh, I, me- I remember even like when we had graduated, you wouldn't find a job straight away or before. It was a different job market. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, so finding the first opportunity in HR wasn't easy. Yeah. You send a lot of applications, get yes. a lot of rejections. Um, Sometimes not even get rejections out of an email. Because, st- po- sorry for, uh, mm-hmm. but popular, contrary to popular belief, if you get a master's in HR, you don't necessarily have the r- experience to um, introduce yourself in HR. So you still have to have a necessary amount of experience working somewhere. Definitely. Not necessarily in HR, but having experiencing that job, the day to day dynamic of a working environment. So. A, a, a master's course or a course in HR will help you um, understand and appreciate the theoretical frameworks of, of, of how HR That's functions right. or how it should function in by the book. But you need, still need to have that practical feel, I would say, of working somewhere else. Yeah, and, and I mean, in reality, it's it's true. Um, so, I mean, you do get your master's, but that work experience won't give another layer yeah. of of experience and, and level. So although I had a master, I did not have the experience I needed, yeah. and I knew that. Uh, and back then as well, internships were not a big thing. Yeah. So I was willing even to go into an internship for free. I, I really had that eagerness to, to get into the, to the industry. And I could have stayed in my full-time job. I mean, no one was telling yeah. me like I had to leave. Um, and then I got like the big break, I would say, and um, I had applied with Connect. Back then it was um, a client relationship executive that I had joined as, um, and in reality it was a recruitment executive. So it was my first step into to recruitment, but I believe that uh, Connect do and used to do recruitment in, in the right way. So you'd learn not just recruitment, but a bit of a yeah. broader scope, get to know more about HR, they have an employment law course that they would yeah. offer you. Um, so it was really like a bit of an HR school at the same time, um, apart from you learning how to deal with clients, deal with candidates, the, yes, inter- negotiation, yes. the interview <laughs> process, and to know about how competency frameworks works, um, uh, the Hexaco yes. principle of, of personality <laughs> trait. So you get to know really about HR. And they you, still use it? I'm not sure if they I'm not sure. I haven't done an interview. Uh, <laughs> I'm not <laughs> you know sure about that. Um, uh, but it's, so you get to know, to yes. know a bit more about psychology behind things and working with people who have experience in HR. Yeah. Um, and after three years there, I felt that like it was time to. Uh, I used to feel that in recruitment, you used to get someone from point A to B, but then not see the full development yeah. of them. So that is where, as well, my keen interest is really see people grow within within a business and mm-hmm. see them through their full employment life cycle. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, uh, and I, I felt that it was time to like look for an in-house role, um, and that's why I landed. I, I landed my first job as a HR business partner. And that as well was with, within a company at a, a time when you do a bit of a, a 360 row. So you'd have your recruitment you still do, supporting the business, uh, HR admin, payroll, uh, you mentioned. So it's a really 360 row, but always focusing more on the learning and development and person development and people development mm-hmm. side. Um, and that's how I kept on. I mean, you go to seminars, conferences, read up and really apply what you've learned yes. in your master's to work and get to really feel and, and live um, uh, working with within within an HR role um, and I was lucky to join at companies at different times where there were like uh, culture projects kicking off understanding and defining what the culture is of the business building learning models so really it was the opportunity to build certain things from scratch with a solid basis but building projects from scratch mm-hmm. um, and, and kicking them off with the right guidance and support also yes. of, of uh, mentors with experience who can really support you in, in growing and, and passing on certain knowledge and, and experience both within the team and even within the business. Mm-hmm. There are very knowledgeable people who had worked in leadership roles for, for a number of years. So you get to that, yeah. that exposure. And I also got um, what I, I felt I was missing, like that international exposure. So okay. in the gaming industry, there was 
I mean, you work with a very multicultural and, and uh, very dynamic um, uh, organizations with offices in different locations as well, with very different, I mean, we recruit a lot of expats from different places around around the world in reality. So you get that international uh, dynamic how, within how a Malta setup. How is it different on the day-to-day? And um, you have, You've both worked in, in, in different companies, um, both international and both local. Mm-hmm. How how is the f- general feel different from one another? I mean, you can feel the diversity. Mm-hmm. Um, so, I mean, if, if I'm working within a business where we're generally recruiting Maltese and we're all in relatively mm-hmm. the same age groups, yeah. roughly, um, the, it, it lacks that depth of diversity. Um, working within that international dynamic and you're getting that full diversity feel, working with people from different backgrounds, different experiences, um, uh, different, because uh, again, the air gaming industry back then was even younger and, and it's still a young industry in reality. So there are a lot of skills that you can't learn at school, you need to learn within the industry. Yeah. And, and um, so you get really people from different walks of life who come into an industry and can make a career for themselves within a, a direct yeah. and a very clear um, role and, and, and position. Is it as hard to manage the diversity? Yes. So the idea I, I, I think out there is that managing diversity is a bit challenging. Is it as hard to, to, to manage diversity at work? I think when you're working with an international environment and, and you embrace the diversity, it's not that hard to manage. It almost mm-hmm. comes natural. Um, okay. uh, and again, I mean, you need to remove that lev- level and have the right structure to remove that level of bias and doing recruitment and, and these things. But it's... The industry is so dynamic in itself and, and um, multicultural that it comes natural it that comes there's natural. That, okay. that dynamic. Um, plus, there's a twist of certain marks as well that you'd operate in that then you'd require yeah. um, certain uh, certain knowledge of certain languages and, and, and backgrounds. Right. I don't think I ever worked in a... No, not yet. I, d- I haven't worked in a, an international company. Um, uh, I've spoke to many people, so I, I'm not familiar with that with, with that feeling obviously i've worked with people um who are not locals exactly. uh, but not in an international company so uh, that, that's why i was curious about that 